Hey, what up? This is Eddie 4 and today we'll be talking about adding your now playing music into your stream. Now, there are many ways of doing this, but I believe this method is the cleanest and best looking combination. I've tried so many things using multiple media players such as Foobar, Winamp, Media Player, Visualization, but many of these require window capture on OBS or any of your tools they use for streaming or other solutions which didn't seem efficient to me. Well, today we'll be doing something like this or like this in just a few steps. This was made possible thanks to Harris Heller from Stream Beats and Alpha Gaming in collaboration with AC Pixel, the developer who brought this to life. Now let's dive into adding this into your stream. For more awesome tricks like these, check out the Streaming Wiz playlist in the description below. I share all the cool stuff that I do and add to my stream. Now, any doubts or questions related to streaming or content creation? Well, just join me. Go ahead. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. In this video, we'll see two methods to get the same result, which depends on the music platform you're using. Feel free to use the chapters in the timeline to jump to the desired solution. Both methods use AC Pixels Pixel Chat, an alert widget solution originally created for mixer streamers, but you know how that went. Hope that doesn't happen with Twitch. Okay, so now let's go to the browser of your preference and go to pixelchat.tv. The URL is in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your browser of preference and go to pixelchat.tv. So right away, what you want to do is, um, obviously because it's a login with Mixer and Mixer is dead, you're going to go ahead and log in with Twitch. Go to overlays and in overlays, I currently have uh, my now plain overlay. So you're gonna go ahead and create a new overlay. Most important one, which is really cool, is the now playing. And as soon as you create that, you'll notice that you have your now playing overlay here. You can call it whatever you want it to be. So you can go ahead and click on here to view the setup tutorial. And uh, by doing that, it will take you to the Pixel, uh, the Pixel Chat tutorial. After you created your um, last FN account, you wanna go again to Pixel Chat and at the bottom and last FM setting up for other streaming services if you're not using Spotify you can click here in this link and that will take you to the list of solutions to track your music in last FM so as you can see here you can use the last FM desktop scrubbler with not much said you can go ahead and just click on download now for Windows Install that MSI file. I already downloaded the file. It's Last FM Scrubbler um, 3.129 MSI. You can use the latest version available, and it's really straightforward. Just double click on it. Next, as you can see here, this is the app already installed. You go here to settings, and currently he is picking up whatever Last FM account you have enabled. In this case, just go ahead and click on settings, log in. And it would ask you to log in to the website and it should show something like this where you want to connect the application and you just go ahead and click and say yes allow access that would directly connect your last fm um, account to the scrubbler after you have done that you want to go ahead and enable to select the plugin for itunes or windows media player um, and as soon as you have this installed it's really straightforward you just need to go ahead and open any kind of music that you have and that is about it as you can see the notification came down here in the lower right corner I'm also going to show you now how to add that into the stream and go to pixel chat and into our overlay we want to set up which is the account that we want to be using to connect to last FM in this case I already have my account and that's about it <laughs> And now I just need to go ahead and play something and he should be able to pull that out. And as you can see here, boom. And this is really straightforward. Now, just after I finish doing this, I'm going to go ahead and click here and this should show me a preview of how it looks, right? But what you want to do is actually copy the URL that you have here into your OBS. You're going to go ahead and create a brand new browser source. You can call this... And now you're gonna go ahead, paste this. Now the default setting for these um, browser sources is actually 1080p, so that's 1920 by 1080. Okay, and as you can see, boom, there you go, right here. So with Spotify, it's really straightforward. What you want to do is go to your Last FM account. You want to go to the settings, and when you go to the settings, you want to go to applications, look for Spotify scrolling, and click connect. 
When you do that, he's going to take a couple of minutes. It will ask you to log in with your Spotify account. And that's about it. So now this is the easy and fastest way to actually add Spotify into your stream. And it looks clever. It looks clean. I just love it. You love it too. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to know awesome tips and tricks on streaming and content creation. Just go ahead and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. Hey, so I hope this video was helpful enough. Now, I know that there are multiple methods out there of doing this, but I believe that this is the best option possible. It actually uses Spotify, which is something that is cloud-based, and you can always get access to all the audio and music that you have in your playlist. By the way, for more awesome content about video creation or streaming, go ahead and click on any of these videos. Hey, this is Eddie04. See you on the next one.